ready? Yeah, go. Since childhood, you start to breath to the hard music. Yes. Your grandfather was a musician, and you played the piano from the early age. Yes. Right? Yeah. How has it changed growing up, uh, your relation with music? Um, I've, I've grown up with music very much in my family, with my grandfather being um, a pianist. And um, so the music that I was listening to as a child was a lot of classical music. Um, Grandpa used to play in the church because we were I'm a Roman Catholic, so he would play the organ in the church. So every week he would practice with the with the with the hymns. So I would um, listen to Grandpa playing the, the songs for the church. So um, as I got older, I very much like um, a very different kind of taste of music and music from classical musical theatre to pop R and B. Um, to soul, so I have a very broad spectrum of music. What I what I like. <laughs> it's okay. Direct question. Yeah. What inspires you, or from what do you get inspiration when you write a song? My main inspiration is love. You see, I have like a, I'm a very passionate person. Um, I love being in love and the thought of love. So. I like writing about love and thinking about what love feels like and um, how love has affected me in my life. And um, my father is, uh, my, well, I have a lot of Italian blood in me, so my mum says it's the, the Italian passion in me. Yeah. So, yeah. For you, how important is in the music uh, the external experience and how much the inner one? The what? Uh, in, for you, yeah. how is important the external appearance in music and how the in, inner one? Um, I think for um, I think for music, for your own creativity, you have your own idea of what you want to create. But obviously, I'm in a band. I'm in Blue, so we have to think externally about our market for Blue and what our audience is and the kind of music that will appeal for our audience. So, I mean, I guess we all have very, very different types of ideas in our head about the music we want to make with Blue and our own personal choice for music, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I love I love writing for Blue. I love, um, me and Lee especially write really well together in the band. and Because um, Lee thinks very similar to me. He's, he's, a, he's a lover, you know, he loves love. And so we write, we write many, uh, many songs together. So, you started out of, in the music world with the band of, of Blue. Yes. How was the beginning? Have you encouraged great difficult and have been tempted to the throat in the spoon? Uh, what give you the strength to go on? I think with Blue, you know, we, we were such a successful band, and um, not just in our own country, but all over the world, and especially in Italy. Um, and it happened so fast, you know, so quickly. Um, and I think that's why we needed to take a break because it was just, everything became so crazy. Um, but now I think we've taken the break, we've found our own individuality and we want to come back together to, to, to do it one more time. So now we have a new album, which we just finished. And we're getting ready to release it. Yeah. The new single is called Hurt Lovers. We shot the video two weeks ago. The video, yeah, it's yeah. really good. So, the last year... Would you like to see the, the video? Yeah. I have it on my computer, I'll show you. Yeah, oh, I'll show great. you. Okay, thank you. Uh, last year, you meet by participating in Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> where did you feel to get back on stage with your group after so long? The reason we did Eurovision was because we wanted to let the people of the Eurovision country that see it, that, that Blue was back, because we'd been away for six years, so we wanted to let everybody know that we were back as a band, and it was a great opportunity, because it's a huge television program, that every country gets to know we're back. So after the Eurovision, we went to write our album, make the album, and we've, we've taken a long time, because we want the album to be perfect, and the album is perfect, so it's a great album. Yeah. What happened to the other member of the group? 
Which ones? <laughs> um, you know, we're, we're all really close and we all have a lot of um, love for one another. We've always been very, very close as a group. And um, one, of the most, one of the most important things about Bloom is our friendship. We've always stayed very, very good friends. Um, Simon went off and did his own solo career and Anthony went into theatre, which I, I did musical theatre as well. I did Legally Blonde and Chicago. And um, Lee um, did some TV shows, he did his singing as well. So we've all done different things. But now we're back together and it feels better being together, much better. You have a solo album, yes. Past Rep, Future Past. Yes. In 2007. Yeah, we all had a yeah. go at doing the solo thing. Your music seems more ne mature than when you sing with the blue. Yeah, it's going back to my creativity of yeah. being in love and writing love songs. Yeah. Uh, during in particular, there was a song, Letter to God. Yes. What does this song mean to you? What's your relationship to God? To God? I have a very um, interesting relationship to God. I, I was brought up as a strict Catholic. Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> she's, a, she's a fan of you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, I will sign for you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, Letter to God. It's about talking to God, you know, I love talking to God and I, I, as I said, I was brought up as a strict Catholic um, and I was an altar boy, so I used to serve the Mass for the priest. But as I got older, going to different countries, um, I started liking different types of religion as well, like Buddhism I found really interesting because I love to meditate and um, so I kind of extract different pieces of religion and, and create my own, but I always always talk to God and letter to God I guess is a is a way of asking God if he's listening if he's if he's with you and because sometimes you doubt your faith um, not for any other reason apart from just when sometimes things go wrong you want to talk to God and ask for help and you say please listen <laughs> so which song represents you better in your CD which, which song represents me yeah, that um, There was a song that I, my favorite song, um, it's called um, What Are We Waiting For? And I love that song. I, I don't know why, I just, it was my favorite song. I wrote it about someone and um, I guess it's just about wanting to take the leap of faith with somebody. And, and take them by the hand and, you know, what are we waiting for? Let's just, let's just do it. It sums me up. I'm, I'm a very impatient person. I'm too impatient. I'm impatient. Yeah. You are a versatile artist. Song, recited to theatre, work in TV, yeah. present. Do you like get in the game? Uh, what do you like more between this activity? Which you feel closer to you? I'm, I'm very lucky that I've done theatre, I've done TV, I've done music, but you know my passion is being with Blue, I love being with the boys, that's where my career started, so I owe everything to, to Blue and I'm very, um, I'm very grateful that we have another opportunity to do a new album again, so I love doing theatre, I love doing TV, but my passion is being back with, with Blue, you know, that's, that's what my passion is and, and I love the boys and I'm really excited for this new album with, with Blue. In our visit to London, we don't miss anything. We request an interview with Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes. Uh, we, we want you to have worked. What impression do you have to work with the second monster of the theatre world? I love working with Andrew Lloyd Webber and um, the song I Believe My Heart, I, I, I really love doing. I love making the music video. And it was such a great song to do and it was, again, very me, about love and all that. So I really love working with Andrew Lloyd Webber and to have an opportunity to work with somebody who's so talented and so inspirational in the musical theatre world, you know, that was like a dream come true working with him. So, I, you know. Yeah. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> you have worked in a musical Chicago. Yes. Tell us about your experience. <laughs> um, I just went back actually and, and played Billy Flynn again um, only last month in Chicago in August. I did it again just for a few weeks on tour and it was great. I loved it. Um, 
and it's such a great it's such a great character because he's Billy Flynn is such, is such a great character to play and I really enjoyed playing playing that part um, and I just you know I, I love I loved it and it's a great show Chicago and the music's so great and I love singing the songs and being in character obviously I have to play like an American lawyer so I have to have an American accent and it was good how was it collaborated with international artists like Elton John, Stevie Wonder and Angie Stone? I mean, we were very lucky in Blue to work with, with the best artists in the world. You know, Elton John is just a, a, an amazing talent, such a great career. And Stevie Wonder as well, um, an amazing voice, a hugely talented man. Um, so for us to work with these artists and Angie Stone, you know, it was just, it was like, a dream come true. I kept pinching myself and was like, is this real? Is this real? <laughs> yeah. In your career, you have been around the world. What's, what is the country that you like more? What do you remember? Um, I think for Blue, when I was with Blue, one of our biggest memories, and you can ask any of the boys this, was when we performed in, in Rome and we did the Colosseum, you know, the uh, I just remember coming out on stage and all the Italian, it was so high. What is it called? Is it the Colosseum we performed at? Yeah. And it yeah. was just, yeah. like, you looked up like that and there was just people up, yeah. up, 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 all around, yeah. like crazy. And I remember stepping out on stage and the Italians were so, they loved blue. So it was like, wow. Ah, yeah, we were just yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah. Looking around, it was amazing. So that was one of the best concerts we ever did yeah. was in Italy. We come from Lucca, a city that you have visited uh, with Luke Blue during the Summer Festival in 2005. Yeah. She's... she's oh, you can <laughs> Yeah. What do you remember of our city? What impression did you have? According to you, since you have turned a bit of Tuscany, what is in common with the UK, our land? I think what I love about Italy, first of all, is um, everybody's so friendly in Italy. When I've been there, um, you as a, as a race, as a, as a nation, um, everybody in Italy has such great style. You know, the, the clothes, everyone's very passionate about the food, and I love food, and I love clothes. <laughs> yeah. so, and that's why I love going to Italy. And the yeah. people are always so, um, you know, so they come up to you and they, um, what do they say? Um, is it bellissimo? Yeah. And then they, they, they grab it to bellissimo, bellissimo. Um, and the Italians were always so lovely to Blue. And um, we had such a great, great career in Italy. And I hope that with this new album, we get to come back to Italy. And I hope that we get to perform and do concerts. So please bring us to Italy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a curiosity. There is a, an episode, say, eccentric, that happening uh, to you during an interview. There was what? Um, an episode eccentric. Okay. Uh, that happened to you during an interview. Really? So, a fun that, <laughs> that oh, I don't know, if, if, if it's happened. I'm not sure what something happened in an interview. Yeah. No, not really. I can't really think. I just, I've just got off a flight from Los Angeles, so my brain is like... <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah. Is, is that our question? Okay. What's your relationship with the fan? With our fans? Yeah, your relationship. You know, we're, we're very lucky to have such great fans. And um, I think nowadays it's easier for a fans to get in contact with you because of Twitter. Uh, do you have Twitter in Italy or not? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to follow me at Mr. Duncan James, I have lots of Italian fans on Twitter. Yeah. Um, follow me, I follow you back. And um, that means that the fans can speak to you directly and they can get a, you know, a, a sense of what I'm doing instantly. So. Yeah. so in a minute I'm going to tweet that I'm with you guys. Yeah. What, uh, what are your future plans? We know that you have a CD with the blue. Yes. Can you tell us when you come out? According to you, what will be characterized? Well, the first single is called Hurt Lovers, 
Um, we want to release it this year before Christmas, and the album will be out the beginning of next year. Um, and we want to come to Italy, and we want to come and promote it. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great it's a great song. It's a it's a very typical blue. It sounds a little bit like Breathe Easy, that kind of style. Like you know, a DJ. Okay. Yeah. Um, the song Right Love is is maybe a little similar to a Kimitiche. It's the same kind of song, very beautiful. I'll play it to you in a minute. You yeah. get a sneak preview. Yeah. Last question. Yes. What uh, would you do in your life if you don't did the singer or the artist? What would I do if yeah. I wasn't? I'd like to be able to be doing acting as an actor. Um, something in the, in the entertainment industry, creative, using my brain. And, um, I, love, I love music, I love acting. I'm not very good at anything else. <laughs> yeah. I love cooking. Yeah, they cook. Maybe I could be a chef. Yeah. Wow. Like Jamie Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.